Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing this makeup look and it's a burgundy glam makeup look and I hope you guys enjoy. I always start off with my brows so that's what I'm going to be doing today and I'm just taking the Benefit Cabrow and it's just a pomade. It comes with a brush but I like to use my own. It's just an angled brush. You want to make sure your brush is super precise just so you can get like a clean eyebrow. And I'm just going to be brushing my eyebrows out and then applying the product and I just outline the under part of my eyebrow and then do the top so with any leftover product that I have on my brush I just like to take it on my eyebrow and swipe up at the very top of my eyebrow because this creates a more natural look like you have natural little hairs and then just to blend everything together I just take the spoolie again and brush through it. So we're just gonna pretend that this eyebrow didn't turn out 100 times thicker than this one and try to clean it up with some concealer. To clean up my eyebrows, I like to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and it's in the shade Light and I take it on a Morphe just like flat brush and it's the M432. A little bit of this product goes a long way so just put like a tad bit on your hand if you need more, just add more. So I'm just going to be taking the brush and outlining my eyebrow and I like to do the top first and then the tail and then I'll go back in under it and then I'll just define the underneath. If you get any of the concealer in your eyebrow just comb it out with your spoolie. And also I never put concealer right in this area because it creates the illusion of your eyebrows looking more boxy. That's as good as my eyebrows are getting today. So next, moving on to primer. I use the Smashbox um, Primer Water and the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. And I just apply the Complexion Primer first and fill in all my pores. Just applying this all over my T-zone. Okay, so after the complexion pore filling primer, I go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and drenching my face in this. It just adds a lot of moisture, especially in the winter. I love using this product. The thing that sucks about the primer water is that you have to wait a little bit for it all to dry, but you'll know it's dry whenever you hit your face and it's like tacky. So I just went and wet my beauty blender and now I'm going to be applying what is left over on my hand from cleaning up my eyebrows and applying it to all my imperfections. This pimple literally doesn't let any foundation like go on it. So you're gonna see that the whole entire video. Honestly, I kinda just put this everywhere where I have redness, which is like all over my face, but it looks good whenever you put foundation on the top of it because it makes you look extra perfect. Done with that step and next I'm going to be going in with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer and I'm in the shade number one linen and then I take Mountain Poreless and it's in the shade number 120 and then I apply this one to the center of my face because it's a lighter shade and then I apply the Clinique one to the outer half of my face. So for this I'm just doing dots and just kind of slapping it on my face. Anywhere where I usually conceal, like under your eyes, on your forehead, the bridge of your nose, your chin, just kind of wherever. So next taking the Clinique one and just applying this to the outer half. This one is darker but I love the formula of it. And then I tried these two together and it literally works miracles and it's just really good. Next, taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, I'm just going to be bouncing this into my skin. And in my last video, I'm pretty sure you could hear me like slapping my face with this. Next, taking my Tarte Shape Tape and it's in the shade Fair. I just got this one, it's like fresh. And that is my favorite. So just applying this in a triangle. Same for the other side and then taking it down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, 
and on my chin and try to cover up that pimple that won't cover. And then taking a little bit on my forehead. And then taking the same sponge and blending it in. Wherever I apply this product, I like to focus my beauty blender more there, not like blending it out everywhere else around my face, just like in the spots where I applied. I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm in the shade Fawn, or I'm not in the shade Fawn, it's just like the color that I like to get for contour. And then I just apply this. Kind of make it a little messy. I'm gonna be blending it out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then taking some on my forehead, actually a lot on my forehead. And then I take some on my jawline. And then take some like under where my double chin is because I'm trying to get rid of that. down the bridge of my nose and then under my nose and then under my lip so yeah all that's blended out my face is looking cut so next I'm going to be taking a flat top kabuki brush and this is a Sigma F80 what it looks like. I ran out of my setting powder and so I've been using this one and I usually set my eyelids with it. It's the Fit Me but I'm gonna go get some more tonight. So anyways I just rub that in there and then I just take it and I press it in to my under eye area. And as you can see, it just makes it look like super like bright under there and like smooth. So yeah, that's what I do with that powder. And then I go in with the Real Techniques blush brush and I use it for powder. I take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light and just apply this to where I didn't apply that other powder. Like, do you see my glowy skin right now? That's because of this powder. Like, I would be mad if I didn't have this. Next, taking some of my Sunnyside Merle Norman bronzer. It's disgusting, and I need to get some new bronzer. But I just apply this to my cheekbones, underneath my cheekbones, and on top of my forehead, and then my other cheekbone and then underneath my jawline I literally forgot to blend out my under lip contour what taking my Becca blush in the color wild honey I'm just going to be applying it to my cheeks right above my contour it's not really like I guess it is my cheeks but it's not like on the apple of my cheeks so I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Palette in that glow. This is like the OG one. I just really haven't used it that much besides that color. But I'm taking this color mixed in with this color and it's dripping and gold and bubbly. Applying that with my eyebrow into the tops of my cheekbones. On my nose, Cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my forehead. Going in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just combing this through my eyebrows. And then for the tops of my eyebrows, I like to flick the hairs up and then brush them back over. I did a Twitter poll and I said a brown slash gold look or a burgundy look. And everyone voted burgundy look, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill palette, my favorite palette ever. But you know, first I'm gonna set my eyelids. 
So I'm going to take this little brush and it's the Real Techniques, I think it's the foundation like buffer brush and I'm just going to be taking some of the Fit Me powder and applying this to my eyelids. Okay, so burgundy. Let's see what I want to use. Alright, transition colors, this one, this one. Taking those two, tapping off the excess, and going into my crease, just putting some on there, just blending it, you know, wherever. So just like in your crease like that. Windshield wiper motions with the brush. Just add some definition, makes the colors easier to blend. Should be good. I'm going to be taking this shade mixed in with a little bit of this shade. And so it's like a warmer, they're like the same exact color, but one's warmer and one's more of a cooler tone. And applying this not as like sloppily as I did the transition color, just like trying to keep it in like one space, but still blending it out. You want it to be more blended out, so you know, just take your time on blending. It's the most important part of your makeup. I take windshield wiper motions, but then like after I do it, I kind of like go with my eye and kind of like blend it out a little bit. So that's pretty blended. We'll go back and then blend some more obviously because it needs it. Looks a little crazy right now, but it'll be fine. So I'm just using the same brush for all of these like crease colors. So next, going back in with my transition shades just to help blend this thing out a little bit more. I'm just going to go back in with that. Kind of try to mute the color a little bit. I'm going to be going in with this brownish shade right here. And I'm really focusing focusing this on um, like in my crease but just a tiny bit lower okay it's not really showing up like it is in real life it looks a lot more bright on camera so this is what it actually looks like going in with a different brush and it's this one it's the Morphe or no it's the Sigma blending E25 brush and I'm going to take the super burgundy shade and this one is super pigmented so really tap off the excess and I'm just applying this to my outer corner of my eye and bringing it kind of up into my crease and then after I get that applied I'm just going to be blending it out And I know this look is super harsh right now, but when you add like everything else, it really doesn't look that bad. So I'm gonna take, wait, okay. I'm gonna take this one and this one on the inner part, this one on the outer part, a lighter shade and putting them in the inner half. But I'm still going to take it up just so the harsher color has some more room to blend out. So next, taking some mascara, I'm going to be taking, I'm going to try this one out, and it's the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara, and this brush is scaring me, everything is going to be, okay, so this is eyeshadow, but look at this brush, yeah, um, it's like little needles, but we'll see if it works. Okay, it's not bad. Like, it's separating my lashes, but it's not really, like, adding any, like, length or volume. It's just, like, doing a really good job at separating. So, I'm going to go in with another mascara after this. And I'm going to be adding another coat of this thicker one. This is a Merle Norman uh, Wicked Lash Mascara. And if any of you Taylorville people are watching me, check out Little Luxuries because a lot of the Merle Norman products I use every single day and they last forever. 
And like, okay. So this is with the Merle Norman mascara and then this is just the Urban Decay one. So I'm going to be taking some lashes and applying them. I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies in black like always. You'll never see me wear another pair. And then I'm taking this strip lash adhesive with aloe and it's just a clear um, lash glue. To blend these together, I'm going to be taking the Bare Minerals mascara. And then if they're looking too much like like that, I like to push them down and it just makes them a lot more natural. Not that I'm going for the natural look obviously, but you know. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.